In signal processing, cross-correlation is a measure of similarity of two series as a function of the lag of one relative to the other. This is also known as a sliding dot product or sliding inner product. It is commonly used for searching a long signal for a shorter, known feature. It has applications in pattern recognition, single particle analysis, electron tomography, averaging, cryptanalysis, and neurophysiology. For continuous functions f and g, the cross-correlation is defined as where denotes the complex conjugate of an is the lag. Similarly, for discrete functions, the cross-correlation is defined as the cross-correlation is similar in nature to the convolution of two functions. In an autocorrelation, which is the cross-correlation of a signal with itself, there will always be a peak at a lag of zero, and its size will be the signal power. In probability and statistics, the term cross-correlations is used for referring to the correlations between the entries of two random vectors x and y, while the autocorrelations of a random vector x are considered to be the correlations between the entries of x itself, those forming the correlation matrix of x. This is analogous to the distinction between autocovariance of a random vector and cross-covariance of two random vectors. One more distinction to point out is that in probability and statistics the definition of correlation always includes a standardizing factor in such a way that correlations have values between minus 1 and plus 1. If and are two independent random variables with probability density functions f and g, respectively, then the probability density of the difference is formally given by the cross-correlation. However this terminology is not used in probability and statistics. In contrast the convolution and g gives the probability density function of the sum. Explanation. As an example, consider two real valued functions and differing only by an unknown shift along the x-axis. One can use the cross-correlation to find how much must be shifted along the x-axis to make it identical to. The formula essentially slides the function along the x-axis, calculating the integral of their product at each position. When the functions match, the value of is maximized. This is because when peaks are aligned, they make a large contribution to the integral. Similarly, when troughs align, they also make a positive contribution to the integral because the product of two negative numbers is positive. With complex valued functions and taking the conjugate of ensures that aligned peaks with imaginary components will contribute positively to the integral. In econometrics, lagged cross-correlation is sometimes referred to as cross-autocorrelation. Properties The cross-correlation of functions f and g is equivalent to the convolution of f asterisk and g. That is, if f is a Hermitian function, then if both f and g are Hermitian, then, analogous to the convolution theorem, the cross-correlation satisfies, where denotes the Fourier transform, and an asterisk again indicates the complex conjugate. Coupled with fast Fourier transform algorithms, this property is often exploited for the efficient numerical computation of cross-correlations. The cross-correlation is related to the spectral density. The cross-correlation of a convolution of f and h with the function g is the convolution of the cross-correlation of f and g with the kernel h. Time series analysis In time series analysis, as applied in statistics and signal processing, the cross-correlation between two time series describes the normalized cross-covariance function. Let represent a pair of stochastic processes that are jointly wide-sense stationary. Then the cross-covariance and the cross-correlation are given by where and are the mean and standard deviation of the process which are constant over time due to stationary t, and similarly for, respectively, indicates the expected value. That the cross-covariance and cross-correlation are independent of t is precisely the additional information conveyed by the requirement that a jointly wide-sense stationary 
The cross-correlation of a pair of jointly wide sense stationary stochastic process can be estimated by averaging the product of samples measured from one process and samples measured from the other. The samples included in the average can be an arbitrary subset of all the samples in the signal. For a large number of samples, the average converges to the true cross-correlation. Time delay analysis Cross-correlations are useful for determining the time delay between two signals, e.g., for determining time delays for the propagation of acoustic signals across a microphone array. After calculating the cross-correlation between the two signals, the maximum of the cross-correlation function indicates the point in time where the signals are best aligned, i.e., the time delay between the two signals is determined by the argument of the maximum, or ARG max of the cross-correlation, as in normalized cross-correlation. For image processing applications in which the brightness of the image and template can vary due to lighting and exposure conditions, the images can be first normalized. This is typically done at every step by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation, that is, the cross-correlation of a template with a sub-image is, whereas the number of pixels in M is the average of F and is standard deviation of F. In functional analysis terms, this can be thought of as the dot products of two normalized vectors, that is, if and then the above sum is equal to where is the inner product and is the L-squared norm. Thus, if F and T are real matrices, their normalized cross-correlation equals the cosine of the angle between the unit vectors F and T, being thus 1 if and only if F equals T multiplied by a positive scalar. Normalized correlation is one of the methods used for template matching, a process used for finding incidences of a pattern or object within an image. It is also the two-dimensional version of Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. Nonlinear systems Caution must be applied when using cross-correlation for nonlinear systems. In certain circumstances, which depend on the properties of the input, Cross-correlation between the input and output of a system with nonlinear dynamics can be completely blind to certain nonlinear effects. This problem arises because some quadratic moments can equal zero and this can incorrectly suggest that there is little correlation between two signals, when in fact the two signals are strongly related by nonlinear dynamics.